Hey, this is Chris Brogan from chrisbrogan.com, and I have an audiobook review. Heshe Audio sends me audiobooks uh, about once a month, and usually they have some pretty interesting titles. I tend to read a lot of nonfiction, but there was an interesting audio title in here uh, this month, which was Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Did I read it right? Yeah. With uh, Sean, Seth Graham Smith. And he's done a lot of those books, uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and I'm forgetting there's one in the middle of those two. Uh, but this one was Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. I checked it out, but then I passed it on really quickly to my dad, Steve Rogan, who uh, I, I thought would find the book quite interesting. So I'm going to pass it over to Steve and get his impressions on what he thought about the uh, audiobook and what do you think you could take out of it. So here's Steve Rogan. What did you think about it? Well, I thought this was a very great book, and what I really liked about it was how the author wove history into the story. I mean, this came out to be a very believable story. Uh, who would have imagined? I mean, you, you can just picture the new Twilight star, Abraham Lincoln now, being the vampire hunter to the Twilight people. Who knew? It was very well written. It was very factual in terms of the history that was used. It followed the timeline from when Lincoln was born until the time he died and after. Very exciting. Very good read. So that's it. We think it's a book you should check out. Uh, Seth Graham Smith, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. The audio, I thought, was pretty well produced. What did you, you think of the way the story was uh, put along in audio? It was very well done in audio. It held my uh, attention. It was very enjoyable. Uh, there were some dramatic parts to it. I mean, it just really was a very well done audio book. Awesome. That's Steve Brogan. I'm Chris Brogan from chrisbrogan.com. I hope you consider picking up Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter.